some tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. How are you? How's Good everybody? Good evening. Right. <laughs> Hi, Vibration. Hello, Ronald. Ronald was the first one. Yay. Ramona and Lori Sue. How are you guys tonight? Miss Nate in the house. Really weird because it says zero people are watching, but I have everybody else. Hello, <laughs> <PMG>. <laughs> you're tricking yeah. us. I know. Oh, there you go. Bop, bopped up to 10. How oh, is everybody? How tonight? are you? Hi, Greeter. Greeter. Rochelle. Kristen from Undercover News. Hello, Nikki. Um, so please put Nikki on the list because she doesn't know how to do this. So please put Nikki on the list. And Nikki, what we do is we always take like um, one question, but you have to say you have a question. So Jen is going to put you on the list and you cannot see her, but please guys, remember Jen's got the magic hands. Um, please go ahead and uh, Woo. yeah. Woo. Magic hands. Magic hands. Hi, Denise and Sharon Lee. Hi, guys. Oh, I'm really far up there. And oh, Ronald, let's see, Sharon Lee. Hello, Hello, Ms. May. Hello, Marie. Vibrational. Hi, Marie. Annie. Marie. Thanks, guys, for coming out and being mm -hmm. here today. <laughs> Karen's coming to us all from sunny Florida. Sunny Florida. She, she jumped on a jet plane. Yeah. Left, so um, left me here in cold Colorado. I, know, I heard it was supposed to snow over there or something like that. <laughs> yep. So, yep. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. Um, so, um, Jen, I don't know if Marcy has a question, but go ahead and put Marcy on just in case. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, I am in. Um, and Julie Owens. Okay, we'll get you on the list. Hi, Julie. So, yeah, so my birthday is March 16th, and I was supposed to fly, Sorry. fly out then. Um, to have my birthday and it did not happen. Um, COVID hit. So everything got pushed back. Um, everything got pushed back. So we're here now and it's, it's, you know, kind of crazy, but I'm really excited because next week my cousin is going to come out. And so, yeah, so been in the water and doing some healing and um, hello, Andrea. Hi, Hi, Lisa. Hi, Andrea. So, yeah, I got a little sun today. Yeah, you did. Yeah. But, to, oh, tomorrow we're going to look at houses, so we won't get that much sun tomorrow. Unless I stick my head out the window. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. I, I think it could. The good thing is it's just waking up to that beautiful ocean and just oh. starting the day with that sound it is so and it's like earlier let me get my camera straight earlier i was talking to jen and um or i was talking to you both at this you know at one point or another and we were walking um thank you nikki we were walking, hi, hi, nikki. walking down the beach yes sharon lee i um we're thinking about it we're thinking about it he wants to move here um hello loom lumine lumine Remember, I don't have my eyeballs on. Um, so, yeah, it was so loud. And last night, it was so loud. We had to shut the window because it was just extremely loud. That's funny. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so we're going to wait just a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, Ronald, Ramon, Nikki, Rochelle, PMG, Vibration, Sharon Lee, Marie, Lumi, Marcy, Julie, Ed K. 
Ed K snuck in here because I didn't even see them. So. Yeah, I said hi to Ed. Um, Drop some cards here. I need to see who are my 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 people. No, I'm kind of sick of snow. I don't, you know, um, I think at this point I'm just, it's, it's funny that, uh, it's funny. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get on the thing on my phone. <laughs> what are you trying to get? Oh, um, the YouTube. Oh, the YouTube thing. Yeah. I have it here. Um, yeah. um, and my, my adopted brother texts me and said, I didn't know it was your 50th birthday to boot. And I'm like, it's my redo birthday. It's my right. redo. Um, so anyways, earlier today, we were sitting here talking about what the theme was going to be today. And um, yes, thank you, Vibrational Realists. Remember to hit the thumbs up and the like and the um, subscribe button. I have a man here, too. You already have somebody I'm there? I'm trying to keep going like this because it's usually over here in front of me, they will wait. You it's know, over here in front of me, but it's like right here, and I keep going. Yeah, it's crazy. So, um, I'm looking at what do my do Demise. I always mess her name up every single time. So, um, so we were talking about what the theme was, and we were trying to figure it out. And um, so, of course, you guys know I've been going through like some stuff. And, um, you know, it's just been a really hard week. And I think it's the energy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's definitely the energy. And so one of the cards that I pulled was patience. And um, so this patience is all about just being patient enough and understand that it's like giving birth. Um, it, it, it comes in a cycle. You can't push it. You can't shove it. You know, you can't. You can't go over there and just make it work, or, you know. Um, you just have to take your time. Um, then the, you want to go with yours, or you want to keep going? You, you might as well go through it, and then we'll kind of. Okay. The other one that I put, picked was We Are the World, okay? And We Are the World is basically, you know, um, this is all about understanding that we can work on ourselves. Okay, so they're giving me more information in here me so too, me too yeah i mean it's just flooding in wow. so um we are the world is about you know the thing is is we've been saying you got to work on yourself you got to work on yourself and we've been saying this for a while but at some point it's about looking outside and um looking at the person next to you and this weekend you guys knew that i was at a fair and i was doing a fair. um Sorry, my ear was itching a little bit. Um, so we were at a fair. And so um, one of the things that came out in the fair was that we had to be patient, um, that everything comes in divine timing, that you can't push it, you can't shove it, you can't make it go. And um, the only thing that you could do was control yourself and know yourself. When I said they're giving me more information, um, I joined a group that I've been a, a member from for a long time and I rejoined. And one of the things that they were saying is the law of armor, which is basically the law of giving, um, giving to people. And it's funny because we are the world is basically what it talks about. It talks about giving to others with no, uh, nothing more. Hi, scary heart. Um, wait, I need to, uh, I don't think you need to read it. <laughs> okay. So, well, it was, no, I need to YouTube it. Um, oh, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, with nothing more than understanding that you could give something and it doesn't have to be like, um, it doesn't have to be money. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys did it so great for the, um, what do you call it? Um, what did they do? Come on, that we just did the thing for, what's her name? And you guys. The, the, yes. The, fun, the, the fundraiser thingy. Yes, you guys gave so much and you guys did so awesome with that. And and it was about, that's what this We Are The World card is about, is giving to somebody else that can't, um, you know, that just can't do it, you know, that needs help, knowing that one day Spirit's going to have your back and protect you and take care of you. And then the other one was the dream card. And this was another one of nobody's going to fill your cup. You know, nobody else is going to make you happy. Nobody else is going to take care of you. Nobody else is going to put that happiness inside you. So it was about patience and taking care of other people as long as, and, and taking care of yourself is basically all it was. So there you go. That's mine. Um, I, and I love that. And I wanted to add to that as well. Um, to the we are the world it's also um we're connected our energies are connected and this is a this is a this is you know like globally this energy um so i'm interested too on how others are feeling here in the community you know how has this last week been energetically for you um what has it looked like because i know for karen and i it's been it's been a, t a tougher week and um, I usually am pretty good at being able to um, find things to be grateful for and, you know, try to, you know, to stop from going down the little rabbit holes of, of yucky. And so, um, but it's been a, extra hard. So I was just curious, you guys can go ahead and throw it in the chat here. How has the energy been for you? And then I'll go on with more of the message. Yeah, please and I'm it. so happy, Sharon Lee, about your bike. That was so fun. Yeah. What happened to the bike? What did I miss? She, she, her new bike. She was. Oh, she got the new bike. Yay. Yeah. She's been having fun. So this is what's happening on on my internet here. It's just scrolling and scrolling. Oh gosh. So yeah, they said something about um, this person's channel. It got deleted and so she had to reboot and to go back and re. So Jen said her super mm -hmm. low and her energy is funky. Mm -hmm. um, high high high. High. Okay. Oh, I want to show you guys something really cool that I did this weekend because something told me to do it because something was going to happen. It was going to stress me out. Sure enough, it did. Mm -hmm. So I took a picture and I blew it up. So hopefully really working hard to keep her. <laughs> they, Can you see it? Yeah, but it looks gross. <laughs> but it looks gross. It looks like a bunch of pimples in your ear. Oh yeah. So it's little. It there's called seedings. Sharon Lee has been experiencing lots of pain, body in pain. Her body, and she knows it's the energy. Yeah. It is. It's so bad. It's been tough. Loom, loom whatever. Pains. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for the prayers of the Roche way showers, Hurricane Delta. We're keeping safe. Awesome. Yeah. But the pain, so a lot of physical pain. That also it can it connects. It's all connected. Yeah. Uh, Rochelle's been very positive. Rochelle, you're always opposite. <laughs> She's always opposite. Like, <laughs> Yay, you. Um, Nikki, this week's been weird. No motivation, feeling a little detached from friends and family, feeling no. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's exact. That's, I think that, yeah. That, and that's where I went back to We Are the World, too. It kind of showed me that, yeah, this is, you know, this is like a global energy that I feel like it's going around. They want to know what's in your ear. Oh, so it's called, should I do, does it look better on this one? Well, I mean, the picture was, it showed the okay. little dots. So it, it's little dots, and it it basically is called seeding. Well, let me try to get it like this. 
Let me see if you can see it this way. Can you see it better? So it's called seeding, guys. We can see it, yeah. So it's called seeding, and those little dots are telling it's little. So it's like um, acupuncture. And so every so often I just push on these when, so these ones were set for stress, anxiety, and neck ache. And so um, every so often, you know, like I had some stress. I literally went to a metaphysical bookstore today and I was walking through, oh, that was weird. We just switched. Yeah. Wow. Jen, did you do something? It's crazy. But anyways, I was walking through the metaphysical bookstore and I just, yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> You're getting this confused. Um, so Jen's typing. So different parts of the ear affect different parts of the body and other issues like stress, insomnia, and pain and weight loss because that's what I'm going to do next time. So you press on this. So I'm walking through the bookstore and I just, my heart hurt so bad. I couldn't. Like I just started bawling, bawling my head off. And so you had a mask on, so thank goodness. <laughs> you know? And so I just started kind of pushing on these like, okay, it's okay, it's okay. And and it, I kind of calmed down, but it was the weirdest thing. But yeah, so that's what it is. It's, you know, like an acupressure, acupuncture, meridian kind of thing. Yeah, it's cool, very Alisa cool. Was like, what the fuck, quit switching it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to read through the list, too. So we have um, uh, Gma said uh, her Meniere's has been out of the roof this week. Um, Prince Charming, uh, lots of tired a lot. Um, uh, Sharon Lee talk, talks about I've been doing lots of self-care to keep my spirit up. Yeah. Um, Rochelle says, one foot in front of the other. Yeah. Um, I was, Marie says, I was blah, a couch potato. Um, uh, yeah, Mer it's, Michelle, uh, Rochelle also is talking about Mercury retrograde. Um, Um, some uh, Gma says, "Don't they use those for weight to lose weight?" Yes, they do. No, it's called seeding. S e e d. Uh, where do you get those? Um, I got them from like you. You have to know someone who does it. So there was a guy at, in Colorado Springs that does it. Uh, let's see. But it's called seeding, so you could probably Google yeah. right. So Monique says um, someone told her that this virus, in a, the virus energy, is causing us to feel this way. Everything we do takes about thirty percent more energy. That's what's causing the heaviness. Yeah, I read about that today as well. Yeah, it's like. Um, they had a term for it. I forgot what it was, but yeah, that absolutely. And that's kind of where when you were doing the global, my guides were doing that global. This is global. This energy. Oh, well, undercover news says my migraines finally ended today. Oh. Yeah, that's been, um, that's been four days. Miss Aragon said she's had bad headaches, neck pain, pulse in my neck and head better today. Yeah, it's, it's really crazy how the energy is affecting everybody. And one of the things that Debbie and I were talking about is you can't, you know, you just got to, so how things come to me for, for me is in the bathroom. Um, you know, like when I'm taking the shower that it's the running water that does it for me. Yeah. So um, I know when I was out there, when I went to on the, in the water, there was a point where I just lost it and started crying and I couldn't hold on to it. 
And then, um, so yeah, there's been several breakdowns today. And then um, when I was in the shower, what I was hearing was that, um, you know, you just can't push oh things. God. Seven days. Seven days. Yeah, Seven you days. can't push things. Um, you know, you've just got to go with it, you know, and it's hard because this energy is just really wonky. And the only thing that you can take care of is yourself right now. Um, you know, like if you try to reach for something and you try to reach and, and hold on to it, it, it seems like it just goes away quicker. So you just got to go with the flow. And what I do like Karen with the, what the community is really saying a lot about the self care that they, they, yeah. knew, they knew to do that. Um, yeah. I like that, uh, I'm not one to do that a lot for myself, but I have been this week, like really purposefully saying, you know, intentionally, this is a self care moment. You know what I mean? Cause I'm not generally, um, that's not natural for me. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so I've been purpose about that. So I like to see that here too. Yeah. Um, people are, are really taking care of themselves and doing that purpose self-care type stuff. Um, uh, so the cards that came in to add to the message for today, uh, which I thought I love, I love synchronicity and I love when spirit does that, does this for us. That's right, Rochelle. My hiking was definitely one of those uh, situations. I posted a, a video yesterday of a hike. Uh. Um, surrender to what is, and that's exactly what Karen has just been talking about. And this is a flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. And you know, talking a lot about don't push the river <laughs> type of deal, can't swim up it, and um. And I, you know, understanding that piece and I completely understand that piece. And I think all of us here understand that piece of not pushing the river. But when, when this energy has been pretty heavy, right. And it's not like, um, what? I forget what I was going to say about that, but anyway, on to the, yeah. It's not like we're not trying to, to, to go with the flow is what I'm saying. We know the drill. We know what we're supposed to be doing in situations when we hit a roadblock or something like that, that we're not supposed to be really uh, trying to push it. We just kind of go with the flow, kind of see where it's going, like the situations that we're in that could be causing this heavy energy. And we, we know the drill, but it's like we get stuck and, and um, it, it, we, we, it's like a, um, you know, I was a lifeguard. So you come upon a drowning person, you have to have other tools with you or they're going to take you down with them. And so. Um, Ain't that the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, hi, JJ. Much love to you, sister. Uh, hi, JJ. Sending you light and love. Okay, so. But what we can do, there's certain things that we can do, okay? So the next card that came in was surrender to joy. And a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. We know that drill too, guys, right? We know this drill. Um, yet... In, during this heavy energy this last week, it's been hard, right? It's been hard to, we find moments of, we, we connect to joy. We, we are intentional about, um, you know, turning away from our heaviness and trying to find things to be grateful for. We know the drill, right? So we've been doing that. And yet that, that heaviness still keeps coming. Yeah. So that's when we are the world comes in again. And that's, that's reaching out to each other here and, um, and sending that light and love and sending that healing energy and prayer 
and um, all that. And so that's leading us to what we want to do tonight together before we get into the readings. Go ahead, Karen. Um, I was laughing because, sorry, Lisa cracked me up because she said, have any of you been super emotional and forgiving lately? Ironically, an ex reached out to me out of the blue and I was completely okay with it. He sucks, I know it, and it's okay. <laughs> I think that's part of it too, is just, you know, it's like, um, you know, you, you, you just kind of, Oh, I was just going to put Sharon Lee's thing up on the thing, but I'm not in control. <laughs> um, yeah, Jen, can you put, oh, I can do it. There we go. Thank you. Um, you know, and, and really it's like, at what you know, at, at some point you just, there is a realization of, you know, you, you can't control certain things in this energy and, I, you know, to me, it's like, I love you, but I got, I let it go because you can't control it. And right. it's easier just to let it you go. Can it off now. Um, I just yeah, want yeah. everybody, it's because that is joyful. You just painted a, a beautiful, like, Oops. Um, sorry. Mm -hmm. I should stop trying to control it. But anyways, yeah, so that's, um, so ready? Have rock, paper, scissors? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> oh, to, to lead us all in our little thing? Yeah. No, I'll do it. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to have light language. No, I'm going to, ready? Because we're doing it. <laughs> ready? One, two, three. That means you do it. <laughs> no, I cut you. Yeah, that I mean, you won. No, I win, so you go. <laughs> Loser goes. Loser goes. Okay, fine. Karen lost, right? She has to go. She doesn't know the rules. She's trying to change the rules. It's my channel. I make the rules. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Ooh, this so, is good. Uh, Lumine says, I've been trying to have kinder thoughts about um, this whom I disagree, especially politically. Yeah, it's hard. All this plays a part. I'm trying to rise above and, and I keep, yeah, I have a mantra. <laughs> rise above. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Karen. I know, Marcy, we are funny. Love you, Marcy. We'll see you later. Thanks for coming. Um, yes, thanks for coming. Chick fight. No, Marcy, we're too far away. Uh, Marcy. Okay. So remember, guys, go ahead and get comfortable. Um, go ahead and get really comfortable. If you are the type of person that falls asleep, make yourself a little uncomfortable. So hugs to you, my friend. Um, so make yourself a little uncomfortable, okay? And I'm probably going to close my cam. No, I won't because it'll be me talking. So, okay, just make yourself comfortable. And I want you to think about your breath. Remember that your breath should be in as if you're smelling a flower and out as if you're blowing a candle and just make it steady. So go ahead and do that in and out. We're going to do this about 10 times in and out. Just do it on your own pace. In and out. In and out. In and out. And I want you to pay attention to the top of your head as you breathe. Good job. Go ahead and relax yourself and let your muscles in your head and your cheek and your face relax. 
Let all the cares just kind of drip away. Good job. Now you're gonna go to your chin, the muscles in your mouth. You're just gonna let them relax. Your neck and your shoulders. Good job, relax. Keep relaxing all those down your shoulders, down your arms, good job. Down your arms and your hands, fingers. But anything that doesn't serve you, go ahead and let it relax. Let's go ahead and go back up to your chest and your stomach, your back. All of it relax. And you go to your hips, your stomach area, release anything that doesn't serve you now. Your thighs, and they get heavier, more relaxed. Knees, calves, ankles, tops of your feet, toes, the bottom of your feet, the more relaxed you get. And just breathe in. And I want you to imagine that beautiful light shining down on you, whatever color you'd like. As you breathe, you could just imagine it going into your body and filling your body. As you breathe out, you're breathing out empty air. Anything that isn't needed is coming out through your breath. Keep breathing in and out. Imagine that beautiful light touching all of your chakras, invigorating and energizing you. And your muscles. You want to specifically go to your heart. All that heaviness. Sorry, guys. All that heaviness that you have in your heart, release it now. And I'm going to do a little bit of light language. Emet umbra tu ekt. Just imagine that light healing every space in your heart. As you release all the pain all that heaviness that you don't need anymore. Just watch it float away. I want you to go to your sacral chakra. And I want you to release that in there too. Anything that you don't need. And it fills with beautiful light. I would invite you to look at all your chakras right now. Releasing anything that you don't need. Anything that isn't of your highest and best good gets released.
your crown, your third eye, your throat chakra, your heart chakra, your sacral. I always forget the next one. <laughs> your root chakra. Just let it all go. Because you don't need that stuff anymore. Any heaviness. And I want you to imagine that light going straight down, straight into the earth, ground, grounding you. Whether they're good feelings or bad feelings, it's all energy. And I want you to imagine it going into the earth, grounding the earth, coming back up through you. Going out into the next person. around your house, doesn't matter, in your city, your town, the state, country, everybody gets touched by your healing light because we're all connected. Till the whole earth is just bright. <sighs> Good job, guys. And shoot that out into the solar system. Imagine earth just being this beacon of light. Anybody that needs this, I want you to send it to anybody that needs this. I can't remember who was all on our prayer list, but definitely for sure tonight, let's send it to JJ's dad. Somebody was in a hurricane and something about the hurricanes. They want me to do some light language, just anchoring everybody's light into the grid. I said, Um, Bratu, a connection at Ut, Ama Abrak, and I said, Okta, and I said, Et, Et, Ut, Um, Bratu, a senecat. I said, Um, Um, Bratu, a sect, Ashana, at Umbro, Octet. Thank you, guys. Imagine that light just coming back inside you. Once again, healing every cell, using all of those pains, going to every atom, every cell. For those that want an upgrade, ask your guides to help you out right now. Tell them you're ready for an upgrade. Once again, we're going to take a look at our chakras, see if there's anything else that we missed. We're going to look at our auras, clean our auras out. We're going to keep that light going because we're always connected. We're never not connected. We're just in our heads a lot. We're going to stay in our heart space with that light just a little bit longer. 
We're just going to know that that light shines down through our hearts, through every chakra, down to the earth, grounds us, comes back around and back up. It's this positive flow, and you could get this any time that you want. Um, go ahead and feel free to ask your archangels, your guides, your spirit guides, any totem animals, anything. If there's anything that you need to be working on. Give you a few minutes to do that. Ask them if they have any gifts for you. And whenever you're ready, thank them. One really deep breath. Whenever you're ready, and just exhale. Good job, guys. You're starting to feel your legs and your feet and wiggle them around. Your hands and your arms. Good job. Starting to come back. Starting to come back. Okay, guys, good job. You're right here with me. Okay, how's everybody doing? How we feeling? Lots of emotions. There's hearts. Thank you, Karen. My heart chakra is huge and full of love for you all. My body aches are going away. Hi, Daphne. Hi, Tanya. Daphne says she's definitely feeling it. Ed says, thanks for that. Oh, there you are, Ed K. Hi. Oh, Nikki. I know that tears, you know, tears could be very sad, but at the same time, tears are so healing, and we so desperately need to get it out. Um. My head, Ramona says her head and chest congestion are disappearing. Hi, Kathleen. Good. Yes, Chris. Um, oh, Chris, yeah, we just did it. That's my nephew. My um, nephew's son. My son nephew. Your son, so yeah. We just did a meditation, Chris, so you're going to have to go back and check that one out. And of course, sometimes I just break down and cry. It's what I do. Yes, tears are cleansing, Marie says. It's very important, you guys, that you drink a lot of water. There are tons of emotions. Lisa says there are tons of emotions and a lot of love in the room. There are true connections that I'm feeling. Yeah, we're all. That was that, that card that Karen pulled. Martha says you're such a lovely person. Oh, thanks, guys. Truly connected, Tita. JJ said. I know. I'm a Pisces cancer cancer. So I'm just fucked. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
All right. Beautiful. Thank you. Good. I know I'm telling you, Sharon. This group. I start a Pisces Cancer Cancer Man. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I know. Thank you, Greeter. I, 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 that is one thing I know for sure that I have you guys. Like we, we were discussing, you know, since I'm on vacation, where are we going to do this? I'm like, well, oh, yeah. I mean, this is too healing. We need to do this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lisa, you are. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lamine. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Debbie. You too, Debbie. Love, love. I know, Daphne. Oh my God, I haven't like I haven't slept good in two days. Well, Ramona, it was supposed to be in March, and so um, we were actually down here to check out houses, and we were supposed to come in March, and it was supposed to be a, a checking out houses and and uh, my birthday, and then COVID hit, like literally the day we flew out, they, or the day that we, the day before we were supposed to fly out, they stopped all the travel. And so ev everything got postponed till now. Thank you, greeter, Teresa. <laughs> yes, I agree, Lisa, when we all come together to heal, I mean, we are powerful together. Yeah. yeah. We're two or more are gathered, right? Yep. Oh, I'm yep. telling you, you should yeah. have um, you should have Sierra do it. I'll type. Oh, oh, I, yeah, I'll have a Sierra chart, man. She's phenomenal. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this party started. Yeah, I didn't know that, Martha. I, I'm I'm a Pisces, and then um, Cancer, Cancer, and that's what Debbie's daughter did my chart, and it was pretty cool. I'm putting her um, email in the chat if you guys want to contact her to do your chart. There you go. Um, so I have someone here, Karen. He's been here since yeah, he started. When I go like this, <laughs> um, and so I'm just going to start describing him. And if someone here in the chat, I know that we have 40 people watching, so. Even you quiet ones back there. That quiet ones, listen, if this is for you. But um, he's saying, I'm here for my mom. And um, I would say he was, he, he would, he's presenting in his early, like early 20s, um, late teens, early 20s. And he said, I, I, I'm here for my mom. And, um, And I heard it like mom, but I could be wrong with that translation, but I'm here for my mom. And um, it's like he's wearing, uh, he came and he's wearing like a polo shirt. And when I say polo, I mean like, like the stripes, and every, you know, like, the, a, like a real polo shirt, but maybe not real, but he's wearing the color colors uh, uh, like on a polo shirt that you might wear in like a rugby. I'm not saying that's what he, um, what he was doing. I'm just saying he's wearing like a striped colored, like long sleeve, like, I don't know, like you'd wear. 
So if anybody um, is relating to this, please pop on. Yes, if you're relating to it, please say something. I don't know why my light language won't stop. Keep it going. I know, it's all just... Da, 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 it was like that yesterday. Um, I got nothing so far. Of course, I can't get on my... Uh, something he has passed away. Yes, so this person that she's describing has passed away. Do you know what his name is? Yeah, yeah, I've been trying to get the name. Could be me for Maria, Mom. Ed K says. Okay. He does seem like he was very active. Um, he would have been really fit, like, um, and, and active. He's showing me. Uh, and I'm trying to get a name. All I keep hearing is George. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a Chad. But I, I I always feel like I get George, so I don't know if I'm. That's just me, because it's like as soon as I ask for a name, I hear George. So I never trust <laughs> my names. Um, Yeah, he was very clear that he came in Jason. for his mom. Ask the ask if it's Jason. We have a Jason. We have a Jason, an Adam, but she said I'm not his mom. Oh, oh, okay, Jason. And then Kathleen says she heard Chad. I'm going to just get any more that I can and then um, just give the message that he came to give. Of course, you know, he could be in the room and someone just doesn't want to claim right. it. Yeah. So for those of you just came in, because I just saw our numbers go up, she is connecting with someone who has passed away. Um, this person came from for their mom. Um, yeah, and it sounded more like mom um, than mom than mom. Um, and so, yeah, early. Okay, so he's now there's a bunch of wadded pieces of paper that he's showing, and it kind of like tearing up, and and they're all dropping on the ground, and. Uh, He's showing me that there was, like, he's going like this now. Like, so he's showing me, I feel like there may have been some stress or he sh or his mom is stressed out right now about something. But he's showing, he's, he's, he's like acting this out. So <laughs> trying to get me to understand. Uh, so, um, what was it seeing? So, because now he's pacing and he's writing stuff down, he's wadding it up and throwing it and pacing back and forth. Does this resonate? Does this have any? Um, Could it have been a baby that was miscarried? No, he, no, he would have been older. He's, he, he was pretty specific about what he was wearing. And um, yeah. 
Martha says she has a cousin named George. Okay. All right. Um, um. Yeah, he, he was very, that was the one thing he was very specific that he came in for his mom. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the message because I feel like this person is here and maybe not saying anything. Um, because again, we have 40 people here. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and ask him for his message. But he was, he was showing me, um, thank you, Jen, by the way. <laughs> uh, but he, he's showing me this pacing back and forth and writing on pieces of paper and throwing them down like they just weren't very stressed out about something about writing. And then um, uh, yeah, then he, he's showing me like just uh, surrounding something that um, something that was stressing him out at, at a certain time and um, he, he's coming in with some, uh, he's, he's saying, Jay Sud wants to know, is this the same man who came to Sheila Celtic's tarot? I don't know. I don't um, know. So, um, he's saying there's nothing, he said this is basically on him. He said there's nothing, um, and this is a message to his mom again. He's like, there's nothing that, there's nothing that you could have done. You could have done differently, um, that you could have done differently. And, um, you know, there's nothing that anybody could have done differently. And, um, and please, um, please let go of any, any, any of that guilt or any of that and know that I am okay. And, uh, that he's okay. And because when he first came in, he was, uh, he was just showing me all these wonderful and things now when he's showing me the story there's some some painful things obviously that he's showing me that he said there's nothing you could have done um differently um he's he's you know giving you he's giving flowers now just saying you're you're perfect you're perfect for me you heard, you heard it between the lines for me, he said. You understood me better than anybody. And it's, it's nothing that you missed. Um, it, it's almost like he's saying whatever happened to him, because he's not showing me the end or anything, was like, like not thought out. And um, Prince Charles said that my son committed suicide and her grandfather's name was George. Okay. Because this person's not leaving. So somebody, it, he belongs okay. to somebody. Thank you, mom. Because um, I now, when she said that, because I now have connected. So it's, it's Prince Charming's mom. I, I think, I think so. But only because he was so strong about the mom. I'm here to give mom a message. So I'm going to finish the message though. And, but yeah, so he's just saying there's nothing that he's like holding your face just like cut like this. He's like, he's like, try, he, he wants you to feel joy again. Uh, 
and uh, he, he's asking actually for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And um, he's showing me things to remember him, like some really good things. Like, remember when I used to, you know, and he's showing me working on a bike or, you know, like that. He's trying to, and, and this could be um, me, uh, metaphorical, but he's trying to show things of, to, to try to remember him in the good, good memories. Um, or, and then he starts laughing. He, so he's like, you remember when, and then he starts laughing. So things when, um, that um, would, you guys would laugh together. Uh, he's like, you're, again, he goes back to, you're the only one who got me, who understood me. Uh, but he's around you all the time. He's showing me moving things too. So if you find things moved, he said, that's him. He's been trying to get your attention to let you know he's there. He's trying to comfort you and let you know, please know that is there is nothing that you could have done. And he's trying to ask for that forgiveness and release you, release you of that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for coming in. Um, blessings to you. Uh, he was very, he came in right away when we, before we even um, really started. Started. And I um, <laughs> kept seeing him, you know, out of the, it was, um, so he came in very strong for you. And um, really kept uh, in wanting to get this message for you. So um, blessings to you, Prince Charming's mom. Love you, JJ. I don't. I want. To, I don't want to miss saying I love you. And oh yeah, hugging you, JJ. Okay. Okay. Wrapping you up with love and light. Okay, so Ronald, I feel so connected to some people in the tribe. Are some come from the past life? Um, I would say yes. I mean, as a, you know, the, the people say that um you know we we come down as a as a, a whole you know you call it soul groups or you know people come as a soul group so all these people get reincarnated together and then eventually they they find each other and um you know they're there for support and all of that so i would say yes that's exactly what we all are to each other you know, and there's a lot of awakening going on right now. Um, awakening for sure. Prince Charming's mom asked during the meditation, she asked for relief. So I hope. Well, definitely. So, uh, but I would say yes, Ronald. You know, at that all of us are connected. We're all connected. So, okay. Well, I, I would agree um, with you. Yeah. It's deep. But it's deep. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, it is deep. Um, you know, and it's funny, you know, because, um, like I was saying, you know, um, you know, we're we're here for each other, and we support each other, and we're helping. Each 
each other out and for help each other. I mean, I'm glad we have so many. By the way, we have 45 people. If you are on Facebook, um, Jen, can you type in the way showers? Because I don't have my glasses on and I'll screw it up. But there is a group that we have on Facebook and we're very supportive to each other. Um, you know, we try to help each other out. It's a good place to connect in, in, in between these times. So, yeah. So we can keep up and. Yeah. And we are, of, we are part of the new earth, Ronald. And what I'd like to say about that is remember that we are the ones that manifest this. How do you want to see this? You know, how do you want to see this progress? Because it starts with us and it starts with our vision of what that looks like. Um, but uh, it's very important to kind of keep your head, you know, it's really weird because they just stuck it in the sand, which is not what I was going to say. <laughs> um, but just realize that we're all connected. And, and, you know, when you're watching that mass TV and you're watching all of that, um, you know, you're, you're manifesting all that, that crazy. So try to limit yourself on how much you watch TV and all the negative things. But yes, but I love the fact that we support each other and, you know, you guys are all my brothers and sisters, and I pray for you every night. And Yay, Martha. <laughs> yes, thank you, Kathleen. Kathleen's a great support, you guys. And Kathleen, we're going to have you on here one Tuesday night, just so you know. So um, we've already taken up about an hour, and we just started. And honestly, like I said, I haven't slept good in two days. Probably not going to do it tonight either. Um, three, two, let's put the next one up there and go to the Facebook group. Um, yeah, wonderful, funny, spiritual people. Okay, Ramona. Ramona, you are up. Please post your question. Who's up? Oh, there it is. Good. You may want to pull your computer thing down a little so you're not the talking head. Oh, then I'll be talking boobs. No, because the, cause the remote, the question's in the way. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Good. Um, I my family get quiet when I ask them about my grandma, grandma's first husband, whom she divorced, especially now that I'm currently performing. Oh. So, oh. That's some bad blood there. Like. They literally took me to boiling. It was the weirdest thing. I, you know, y'all know my my guides are goofballs, but they literally took me to boiling blood. Like well, that is not something that I would. Talking boobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't bring any shirts except for shirts like this, so I didn't think about you know being on camera and stuff. Um, but yeah, I I that's like woo. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, grandma is not mm -mm. currently performing acting gene allegedly search on him. I feel like. She was lucky to get away from them, actually. Yeah. Is what I'm hearing. Like, uh, the first thing, you know, when I was tapping in, it was like, you know, she was they lucky had, to get away. Yeah, they had a son together. I mean, this may, I, you know, I, it's really, uh, I've never seen that where they boiled blood, you know, so maybe his blood boiled really fast, and that's why Debbie's picking up on that, because, I mean, he gets, like, Bam. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Maggie. I'm just going to call you Maggie. <laughs> Hello, Ian. How are you? Hi, Ian. Welcome. Yeah, Ron needs your help. He doesn't want to be the only dude in the house. <laughs> I 
Lori, but not that Lori. Hello. Ramona said that uh, I know he was allegedly murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't like the way this, like, I feel yeah, like was, every card that came out was I got death, I got um, blocked and repressed anger, rage. Uh, Arguments, dis discord. I got the fox. Mm -hmm. I got anchored down, um, and then it was like very rigid thinking. So yeah, yeah there's like I feel like possibly there could be some kind of religious thing attached to it as well. I'm not sure about that, but I did get the um, supposedly he was mixed blood, possibly Native American white, but his family passed as white. Okay. So something in his, he was very rigid in his thinking. Um, tyrannical, he was tyrannical, extreme. She's lucky to have gotten out. And, um, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about it at all, you know. So um, he was in what is known as the CBs in World War II. Okay. Yeah, and I think you're, um, when I asked if, oh, I think you're going to keep getting stalled when you ask. I mean, this is something that if you want to take this on, I would say respect those around you who maybe are not as anxious to know because, you know, it's like I, they really want to keep that buried and they put it in the sand and put a blanket on it, you know? I mean, they just don't, yeah. So yeah, this just doesn't feel good. But as far as why, uh, you know, why they freeze up is because I, I think it was, um, interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's like a cut and run thing. I don't know. They're not, they're not really saying why they won't say, but they're giving a picture of the what he was like. Um, hi, T Barb, welcome. Yeah, I just don't think I think you're going to keep running into blocks when it comes into this. I mean, it's like I they did. I mean, everybody they showed me, it's like. Closed door, closed door, closed door, closed door. I mean, I just keep getting closed doors all the way around, you know? So. All right. Sorry, Ramona, but that's, that's why. Yeah. I don't have a ting-a-ting-a-ting. -a -ting -a -ting, so. Oh. We're going to have to ting-a-ting. -ting. Wish I had more for you, but completely. Yeah. I mean, even these guys won't say. Nikki, you're up. So any question that you have. This is Nikki's first time. Oh, Nikki, welcome. No, she said thank you. She was wondering yeah. if it was something like that. Yeah. I've never had that 
in a row that many. Yeah, just negative, nasty negative comments nasty. and the feeling. I mean, he was murdered, but I, I feel like he was a murderer, is what I was getting. And of course, you don't want that in your family tree, right? So yeah. that's probably why they're not talking. Yeah. Nikki, I'm trying my hardest to reach out to my guides and learn the path they want me on. How can I reach out to them? I feel a resistance, like I'm not ready. And what's up with the flickering lights following me? Sounds like they're ready. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I, I think they are re reaching out to you. It's just you're seeing them differently. I mean, one of the things that you got to do is keep an open mind about all of this stuff. I mean, each one will come to you differently. I mean, I don't see my guides like most people do. They just put pictures in my head. I see um, also the f flickering lights may may be attached to someone on the other side that you know and they're flickering the lights um, but yeah as far as your guides and okay so i'm going to check into how they want me to reach out i feel like a resistance um no i feel like um Actually, there's something that um, that's in you that's resisting. Um, like they're not resisting; they're always ready. But there's something in you that, on your path, that is is causing. I'm going to throw some cards. Are you getting anything, um, Karen? Besides cold, <laughs> no. I said, besides cold, <laughs> um, uh, no, I just, I'm just hearing that, you know, the way that they're expecting to, uh, the way that you're expecting them to come in is probably not the way they're going to come in. They're going to come in differently. Um, I, I mean, it's like if you're used to hearing and then all of a sudden you see or vice versa, if you're used to seeing, you're just going to hear them. But then I'm kind of wondering, did you do the meditation? Um, we have some some of the meditations that JJ has done on this channel, um, and especially the earlier ones where she's done, like there was one going into a cave or something like that. That's really good. And some people have found their guides through that. But And I would just honestly, Nikki, I would start ca calling them a name and, you know, like, I have one that's named Sirius, like seriously. Um, he, and that's what he said. You can't pronounce my name. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm from Sirius. So it, that's how it, that's how his name is. So just kind of be gentle with yourself. I need to get a sweater. It's getting cold. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Get a sweater. It's like this AC is kicking. Yeah, the AC. When you go to those places, the AC is colder than. Yes. Yeah. I'm freezing, and it's seventy-one in here. <laughs> so Nikki, um, okay, so here's what I'm, and I was when I was connecting into your energies, I was kind of feeling this as well, but to get more of the story and w where I was saying I, I'm feeling more the it's not a block from out. here out here it's it's more on the inside and um and i saw also that kathleen said something about doing meditation well the meditation card did come out and like taking that time for really um being having purpose med meditation um purpose time of meditation and quiet and and and, and do that med specific meditations to connect to your guides. Um, I also got the King of Swords in in the center, and that's kind of reaching out to find someone that can help support you in that, like a guide or a teacher or someone who has been there before and can help you walk you through uh, the process of of 
these type of meditations. Um, I'm also seeing part of the block could be um, lack of um, like self-conscious or uh, like you don't uh, believe fully in your, in your ability or, you know, like that, like there's some kind of not fully on un, uh, understanding your ability or, or under, believing in that there's, there's kind of a, a lack of that um, feeling because it hasn't been fully successful already that it kind of, that kind of, it throws up a wall, like almost like a, oh no, I, I haven't been able to do it. I'm never going to be able to do it. And then you start getting on that hamster wheel, right? So that could be part of it. Um, be open to something that you're not, uh, be open to uh, larger um, ideas of how to, meet your guides. It, it could be totally different than what you can even imagine. So maybe it, it won't be like the, the normal way people meet guides. Just be open to like you, like you're saying you have these light flickering well, or whatever, just be open to the possibility that you'll meet them differently <laughs> is what I'm getting as well. And, um, and you know, open a dialogue with them back and forth, create a dialogue, just like your dialogue, your own type of dialogue back and forth with them. Um, yeah. Just start asking them to show you signs. Yeah. I couldn't find my coat. So I just put my pajamas on. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I just was told to draw one of these cards for you. So that's what I'm going to do. So Nikki, just so you know, we do this on Tuesday nights on this channel. Um, then we also do it on Debbie's channel. Uh, Oh no, that's not what I was looking for. Do we have a, um, Jen, do we have something that shows Debbie's channel? I'm pushing my buttons right now, guys. <laughs> so I don't start crying again. <laughs> there you go. So um, please subscribe uh, to mine and Debbie's channel if you haven't already. So on Sundays at 11, 11 um, is on Debbie's channel. And then Tuesdays is on my channel. And then Fridays we bounce back and forth. So I can't remember whose is this week. Um, I think it's yours. Okay. Yeah, it's yours because last week we, we had. Um, oh, yeah, we had this back there. Hello. We're on vacation, so you should probably. Uh, it's up to you. but No, it's fine. I'll. I'll do this. Okay, so um, Nikki, <laughs> the card that came out for you is Surrender su to Success, and it's kind of like wrapping up what I was trying to say, but not very eloquently, <laughs> bringing you the message. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into exciting new world of possibilities, and that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I should have just pulled this card for you. And um, surrender to non-action. Sometimes, you know, just stepping into that meditative state and allowing it to take place is good, right? I love this card. And now it's time to be still and not to act. Simply breathe, focus on your own power, and let others come to you. What a beautiful message <laughs> from your guides. That's perfect. I love it. They are coming to you. So just, just quiet. Get into that space. Be purposed about quiet and, and um, getting into that space. But, yeah, I love it. <laughs> They're like, that's hard to do. Well enough. Let, <laughs> get your cards out. 
All right. Love it. I'm excited for you. This one. So I, I thought it was funny because this one says Oracle wait for important information. <laughs> so just be gentle with yourself. To come and believe in yourself. Believe, believe. Hi, Book Bewitched. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, Book Bewitched. As soon as we get off, it'll actually replay. I mean, it'll like be posted, so it'll replay. And just so you guys know, to Lola's no, on board tomorrow. too. Lola's on board too. What? Lola's here. I didn't see her come in. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, pretty soon I'm going to um, do some light language um, one day. Oh, the coat. Thank you so much. Hi, Lola. Hello, Lola. You're welcome, Nikki. Yeah, I'll be like that. <laughs> oh, let's cut your sunburn yep. too. Yes, I'm a little bit sunburned. You cold, yeah. Okay. It is amazing how the cards are always on point. I know. I love it. I love it. You keep freezing, so. Okay, uh, that was weird. Yeah, you just keep freezing. <laughs> Twenty-seven minutes, and I'm I'm plugged in directly oh, to yeah. the Ethernet. Awesome. Can you imagine how bad it would have been? Yeah. Okay, so Rochelle, I was surprised my grandmother maternal was in my dream. Does she have a message for me? from grandma <laughs> Karen <laughs> <laughs> I know, but if you wish, you need to go back to the beginning after it's over. Replay from the replay the start. <laughs> anyway, she's in Florida having the suntan, sunburn. But yeah, we had a great. Um, and I cried. And she cried. It's what I do. It's not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I feel like your grandma's showing me, uh, and this is your your maternal grandmother. And I believe when she she's come in before, she wears the same type of dress. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, she's showing me uh, like a list, a bullet list, like a bullet list, written list, and it, on the refrigerator. And um, and then going up and crossing one off and then going away and doing something, coming back and crossing the next one off. That is what she's showing me. So I'm going to... Um, also see if she wants to throw in more of that message if you you know I don't know is she oh she's going like the it's the emoji that goes I don't know, I don't know. yeah 
That's what she's showing me. Well, and my question, you know, what my guides um, wanted to know and what they really asked me was how did you feel when, when you saw her? Like what was the emotion behind it when you were seeing all of that, you know? Me? <laughs> no, when, who was- Oh, with the dream, with your dream? Yeah, yeah with her dream. Thank you, T-Bar. Book Bewitched is loving you, Debbie. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> she said she don't cook, but. I, I, I'm not saying it's about cooking. That's just a place you put lists and you can cross off things. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's something that you cross off. She came in at age 15. She was a drunk. I don't know. She She's showing the list. They're bullet pointed lists. So, and then you, and then crossing it off. And it's a message to you. So she wants you to do something with a bullet list and cross them off. <laughs> okay. So, and I asked her to pull three cards. So I don't know what this means for you, but we have relationship dynamics coming in, finances, and this could be part of the bullet list. I don't know. And moving. Those are the three cards she, that I asked. I said, go ahead and pick three cards out of here, out of the um, butterfly deck. Oh, she said, no, I didn't say cook. I spent Christmas with her every year. Okay. <laughs> so with that energy, uh, Rochelle, um, as far as a message for you with those things, it, it, it's like, you know, looking at your relationship, uh, relationships as far as, you know, I don't, and then you have finances and everything in order and moving. <laughs> I don't know, some movement. It could mean movement or actually moving. So movement in these, these things. So um, finding movement within your finances. Okay, so now I'm hearing yes. I'm hearing a yes. So um Movement, um, uh, and I'm hearing positive movement in both relationships and your finances. Um, it, it, it's like you have a list of things in your own mind that you would like to see expand, so to speak. So, yep, this one's, uh, you know, I, I'm in a great relationship crossed off, you know, I'm in, you know, like that. So it's positive. It's a positive thing. At least that's what coming through over here. So blessings to you. Woot, woot. Okay, Jen, who is next? <sighs> PMG, PMG, you're up. You're welcome, Rochelle. Yes, questions in, in your online, yeah. Okay. Who's up? PMG. Oh. And then who's after PMG, Jen? Yeah, so Jen is actually running my name. So, um, yeah, so PMG and then vibrational realist. Oh, so vibrational realist, when we get 
when you think that we're getting close, then you can change it up. Or, or I mean, you could like put, post your question so Jen could get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. About 22 years ago, I was woken up by three ETs. I saw them as balls of light. They seemed to be trying to communicate with me, or maybe they were working on my chakras. What were they doing? I was scared. All right. Three balls, three balls of light. So what my guides are, what I'm being told um, is that they literally were um, doing some rewiring at the time and um, to, to um, for the next phase of, of, of leveling yeah. up. What? Yeah. The next yeah. phase of you. Yeah, the next phase of you. And um, that you needed some, it, it's almost like we're on this path. We, we designed our, 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 our path and what we wanted to learn and grow when we come here. And, and we do get that help. We have our guides and we have helpers in, in many forms, I believe. And um, when we're not fully on that right path and we need that nudge and we're not hearing it correctly or we're not we're going to get that little extra help like that where they're going to just kind of do some rewiring that you know like whatever um when you're sleeping or when you're not fully aware fully aware fully awake fully awake and, yeah yeah and that's what i got is i literally watched them just like doing you know, I, I mean, not like surgery, but they were. Yeah. It's like surgery. Yeah, it was like connecting things. And it was, but, you know, you say surgery and people are like, oh, my God, they were taking something from me. Yeah, you yeah. Know, it wasn't that. It was like, yeah, we're, we're like, helping you. We're, it's like, wait, wait a minute. This wire needs to be here and this wire needs to be here. And like, yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. Um, of course, it's always uh, when you when you wake up upon that. And that's why they kind of try to do it when you're not quite aware because it can be, um, I mean, it can be a little fearful. <laughs> so no, no. It's hard to wrap around. He's okay. My wife says I don't listen. <laughs> uh, well, look, it, it, just ask him to rewire that part so you can, <laughs> so yeah, you can, but you can your, wife, your wife can finally say, Oh my gosh, you're listening. <laughs> yeah, I I, I would definitely, she put some. He said that's what it felt like. Energetic surgery. That's a really good way to do it. That's a yeah. really good way to say it. Yeah. Yeah. And so this kind of helps you. And so, um, you know, regardless, I mean, not all ATs are bad, I guess. So we yeah. don't have to look at it like that. We just have no. this. No. Yeah. They're wonderful. So. I'm not bad. They're not bad. Okay, I'm gonna, I just am asking your guides, your guides, and maybe these three ETs. Um, you know, I don't think we're ever really shut down. I just think that um, I don't think we're ever really shut down. I just think that we get sidetracked. We get caught in the noise. Yes, we get caught in the noise. We get caught in this. You know where everything is just really loud, and you're you're so. You know, the best way I can describe it is as we're so three D. You know, with what is going on right here, right now, that we don't stop to to look with our souls instead of our eyes. Um, but you know, so we're 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 getting caught up in the three D world. We're chasing the energy of money you know we're chasing the energy of what life is supposed to look like yeah um, you know and that's not always you know it's different so it is so i i asked <laughs> i asked your three ets 
or your guides or whoever to, to pull three cards because you had three of them there and to, to bring a message for you um, tonight. And um, here you go. Surrender your outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself or that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. So, um, yeah, surrender the limiting ideas of, of you that originate from, yeah, from your past. They said it perfectly. I'm not going to try to restate it. <laughs> okay. And the next one that came in was surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open up, open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. This is an important message to all of us, but this is one that um, they brought in for you, PMG. And the last one says, surrender your low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. These really do intertwine together for you. So blessings. And what did you have? I can't see it. And so this guy says, the warrior. warrior, it's be fearless and stand strong. So... Very cool. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Blessings to you. Okay. okay. Good, good. Thank you, PMG, for that question. Vibrational realist. Wait, book, wait, wait. Okay, so before we start reading, I have to read this. Um, David Johnson video had three naked women showing close-ups? I don't understand. And then luckily I had his content. He was amused and, and pissed too. Did someone like hack in or something? Almost of October, vibrational realist. Okay. Vibrational You're so welcome, PMG. Oh, in the comments? How do you how how would they oh 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 the little the little pictures? Yeah. I get those two and I I get them and I uh I do, I go in and I block their um their YouTube channel. I block them from, from my channel and then I delete them from the chat. <laughs> but good thing you told them. But yeah, it, it, they're, they're, I don't know if, what they're called, bots or I don't know, trolls, whatever. Yeah. I pretty much every, every time, especially lives, um, after the lives, um, I'll get a bunch of those and I have to go in and erase, uh, block them and erase them. Um, but yeah, okay, now I get it. I'm like, how did they, how did they hack a video? I was freaking out. <laughs> okay, thank you. Porny trolls, yes. I report, I report them, I report them and I block them, I block them from their channel. I go into their actual channel. Yeah, okay, sorry about that, Karen. I was freaking out because I didn't, <laughs> I, so I didn't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> You're lucky you don't get those um, porn porn trolls that come in uh, into the into the um, comment section. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm sure Lola, you get them too, right? Yeah. Okay. What wonderful things are coming towards me for? I'm gonna <laughs> do porn trolls. Okay. Uh, what wonderful things are coming towards me for the rest of October? I like that question. What wonderful things. That's a positive way of thinking. What wonderful things are coming 
towards me for the rest of October. So I pulled the, go ahead. Oh, I was just seeing, I just saw like this door open and you're just like hugging someone like, like you haven't seen this person in a long time and you're just hugging and so happy. This could be a metaphor, of course, but um, it, it's like someone that you've known from the past is, um, could be stepping back in somehow into your life, whether it's a, a you know, just a contact via text or Facebook or something. Someone's jumping back in and you're going to be very happy about it. Um, it um, with this, this reconnection with this friendship or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And you pulled the card, Karen? Um, I... I wonder if I can even. Or, oh, look at that. Yeah. So I'm doing it on the couch. Oh. So like, um, I was just like, like, what's coming to her for the next month? And I like the jammies. Thank you. I match. You know. The only way to go to bed is matching. Exactly. So <laughs> this is about just kind of looking at, you know, looking at things and these, you know, looking who you are and the more you look into that, the better off things will be because in time, these things that bothered you, these things that stress you out, I just saw it as just like, it just goes away. And it was very odd, you know, it just this wind went away and pretty soon you're going to have choices in this movement. This new um, um, yeah, you know, it might be a little hard, but you get to the top and everything's going to be okay. You were talking about someone coming into her life and, yes, um, um, this is, um, yeah, this is talking and a male and making a decision in reference to that. So I thought that was kind of cool that there was, you know, this person may come. So, yeah. Awesome. Sharon Lee says she wears skin pajamas. Skin pajamas. Oh, no. mm -mm. I, I, so the worst part was when I realized I have a weighted blanket at night and I realized I did not have my weighted blanket with me. And so had to go to Walmart to go get another weighted blanket. And this one's not as heavy as mine. So yeah, no, I'm the type of person that needs that weight and I need, long pajamas and a t-shirt, a big, huge t-shirt. Don't touch me. <laughs> no snuggling up to me. Yeah. You know, be open to an adventure coming in. Yeah. Vibration. <laughs> Uh, you have the full card coming in there and the hair font and the hangman. <laughs> it's like three major arcana coming in <laughs> all at once. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So the full, you know, that stepping into like, all right, I'm going to step into this and I'm just going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to, have my head up and I'm, 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 I'm excited for new, this new adventure to come in. And, you know, with the hair font, it's, it's really, it could be also directing you into uh, also a, a spiritual adventure as well uh, and awakening as well. And, and getting that higher perspective, gaining that higher perspective. So, Connecting all these energies that from Karen's cards to what came in uh, through spirit and her more cards and what came through here. I'm ex it's exciting to see what's going to happen. Go ahead, Karen. Well, remember that this was choices and you're going to have right. crossroads and choices. And I thought was great was 
you got direction guardian, which means you get to choose your path and how you want to do this. I thought that was huge. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Yes. Definitely goes in with this one. Yeah. So yay you. Oh, listen, I'm not you. I stick one foot blanket, but I've got to have my weighted blanket to feel like somebody's hugging me at night. Hi, Chas. Yeah, I um, love when it's it getting cool. We're man. actually filled up, Chaz. I'm sorry. We've been going for an hour and 50 minutes, and we can usually do about three. So, um, yes, book. I love my blanket. Can't sleep without it. Um, I need the weight to sleep. Um, so, yeah. There's Dumisa's question. She's already yay. Um, yeah, I, I'm always excited when it gets cooler and we can throw the weighted blanket back on. Oh, I keep it on even in the summertime. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I just wear shorts to bed instead of my, my long ones. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't. I can't do that either. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think one of one I think is my friend, a male who passed. Wonder what he wants or what they want. You know, I I get the I'm not really connecting to him yet. I just got this feeling that it was like you're starting to see people like I can't see any of my relatives. Okay. Because they, you know, when I see them, it, it makes me cry and then they just disappear like that. But what I'm getting is that I, th I think just them, you are acknowledging that you are starting to see or feel or whatever, you know, so there may or may not be a message. Hello, Jima. You know, there may or may not be a message in that except for, yay, you can see us, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, I, yeah, it's like Dumise, are, I mean, you, you are, you, you have your, you have mediumship abilities. Do you, do you um, do that now? Like. Do you work with those um, gifts? <clears throat> because I'm seeing this, this this guy, and he's just sitting in the front seat, just kind of kicking back. He's got his foot up on the dash. He's kicking back, and he's talking to me about songs on the like songs that are playing, like. Um, songs that are playing in the car or something. He's just kicking back and he's just kicking back with you and just enjoying, um, enjoying that time. Um, but like almost like there's not a message except that he's just there. And so when, when Karen said that, I thought, Oh, that makes sense to what he's showing me then. Cause he's just hanging out and I'm kind of asking him for a message and he's just like, he took me to the song on the radio or whatever. And so, um, yeah. Do you, um, do you, I, I don't see an answer. I wanted to know if she um, uses her gift because it's, it's getting stronger and my nose is starting to itch now too. So it's getting stronger, Denise. So when they come, I would just start asking them. Are are you the one that's locking up, or it's not me? Mm, can't hear you. No, oh, it's not me blocking up. It's just you. Okay. Okay. So I'm just waiting for her to answer. I think I would just. Uh, Oh, I think she may have said she was driving in the car. 
right now. I do not. She says, I do not. Well, <laughs> she says she doesn't. Okay. So, um, you might have some gifts starting to come out. <laughs> and understand you don't have to necessarily see them. I don't see them. You know, I see them in my mind's eye or sudden of them. So it's, you, you don't necessarily have to see them. So if you feel they're there. Um, why don't you go out, Karen, and come back in? All the way? Well, because really... You're choppy, you're behind. Hi, guys. <laughs> anyway, Demise, um, yes, I find myself singing, and then I look over and I can see him laughing. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's exactly how he's showing me. And um, that's exactly, you just described exactly what he was showing me. And um, so, yeah, I feel like, um, you're you're going to be seeing a lot more, and this may just be because this is the time I'm telling you, people. Um, these what do you call them? Latent gifts that have been stuffed down, and we're not opening them up, are bursting out at right now. So I feel like um, hi, Ronald. <laughs> oh, I see. It's just me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so maybe it's time to, I don't know, whatever you feel like you want to do, but I feel like that's part of it's like hanging out with you is kind of like, I know you can see me, so let's, let's get this done. You know, let's, let's make this happen for you to, to, you can start using them if you want. Um, if not for others, for yourself, right? Yeah. The fear. Yeah. Um, uh, that's a tough one to get over, but just know <laughs> that it's just our loved ones and they're, they're just always right here anyway. Uh, we just can't always see them. Um, but it, it, once you get over that, it'll be okay. <laughs> it won't be as scary. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, she says, I'm scared to address them unless I know them. So those are all things that um, absolutely are little kind of road bumps, bumps to, um, to her. She said um, she's kind of afraid to address uh, people in spirit unless she knows them. So that's kind of a little bit of a block for her to really... And that makes sense, but what do, you do? Do I, what I did. I asked, um, I said, anybody who is my spirit guide, my guardian angel, anyone that has my highest and best good on that side, um, please come in and be my gatekeeper. I didn't. Yeah, gatekeeper. Yeah, I didn't go and say, hey, I want you. Oh, it's better. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I did, and it ended up being my brother. But I didn't know that until just, like, what, less than a month ago that it was my brother? That's right. And she has a gatekeeper now. And always, you know, we're all here. This community is here, like Kathleen says. And you can always reach out to behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Yep. But here's a kick. I, I love your friend. <laughs> and he doesn't want anything he's just hanging out he just loves it it's good energy to him yeah I literally saw you're like a light and so when you turn in when you turn on basically it's like they see you in the dark so Hmm. 
That's the next question. Sharon Lees? Yep. Okay. Anyways, um, Demise, I'm so excited for you, this journey. Um, before we get to um, Sharon's question, I just I didn't want it to pass by. I want to um, pull Demise uh, one of these cards. Okay. I just love your friend, and I'm going to ask him to pull one for you. He thinks you're so cool. <laughs> I love him. I would like him to hang out here all night. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what this means for you, and he picked it. So... Uh, but surrender to the idea that you can fix someone. So I don't know if there's someone that you need to fix or you feel like you want to fix. But he's saying it's it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or own healing. So I don't know. That was his message for you. Well, Demise, he is right with you, and I would imagine you miss him because he is just so beautiful, such a beautiful. I am so um, blessed to have gotten to meet with him, meet him. Blessings to you, Demise. Okay. My, <clears throat> my daughter, Lauren, was bitten by a mosquito in the Caribbean about six, seven years ago, injected a virus that has caused her serious chronic health problems. Will this ever be resolved? I'm assuming she's been to a neurologist, right? Um, mm -hmm. Because they took me straight to neurology. Um, Sharon for Sharon. Yes. So Sharon, yeah, I, I'm assuming that. Yeah, because they took me they right, right to neurology. And they, there's so many different these they, they've dealt with this for so many years, you know, these types of viruses, um, And they're always coming up with new new stuff and, and new ways to, to deal. So, um, okay, yes, she's under a care of a neurologist. So she's doing the right thing. So you want to see if it's – because I, I'm seeing um, – it's almost like progress is being made is what I'm being told. Yeah. I'm going to – Yeah, she's under the care of a neurologist. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a little health a little health spread here. Her heart rate, blood pressure, regulating body. And auto auto mnemonic heart rate, blood pressure, regulating body temp hormones has lost cognitive ability to had to drop out of the university. Um oh. there's a there's it, it you know, kind of, there's like almost like Lyme's disease, but not. It's it's like a. I was just earlier. I was thinking Lyme is the first thing that hit me, but then I was like, wait a second, tick it's a mosquito. But they have other things. It it, it 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 mirrors Lyme's disease is what they're showing me. It mirrors a mm -hmm. Lyme's disease thing, and. Um, There, 
I'm almost thinking, I know she's under, uh, under, but there's some worldwide specialists that could deal, you know what I mean? That yeah. deal with, um, and I'm sure this neurologist has checked with the neural, you know, like that, but there's platforms that people talk about these on. Um, you never know, you never know. Um, It is heartbreaking though, Sharon. Absolutely. I, I mean, confounding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I did this and we have, um, networking and so it's going, it's going with my, and the reason I use these cards because they have the medical down here and I don't know these cards medically, but I was told to use them for the medical reading because they have medical words down here to help. <laughs> That's why I'm using these, but, um, you have, you absolutely have you have the the networking going with with um, the letter there, and um, so it, it's talking about net networking, getting in contact with other other people. Like I, I like like my guides were saying in the first place is finding that finding some there's dialogues you can have network with other people um, that you know, are, it's going to take some diligence though to get on there and net, start networking, finding these other people, finding these other doctors across the world that, that work with unique viruses like this. Um, and uh, um, finding a new medical, finding that new medical help. Um, also bringing in, there's, alternative medicine here with this coming in and and be be diligent be you know keep it going be that voice um and that's going to be the key to that is this like um be that chalk on the on the chalkboard so to speak okay Oh, I, yeah, it, it, you don't need to see the words because I'm not really using the words. I was just explaining that these cards have words on them. <laughs> on them the um, okay, so, um, and um, they are going to find a new diagnosis. There's going to be a new diagnosis. Okay. And, um, yeah, I, I just feel Sharon. They're gonna if you if you go down if you start networking, and I, I just feel this really strongly because it came in immediately about, um, um, y yes, yeah. You you need to be that voice for her. you. Like it's like um, fight. You got to fight for her so to speak. And I, I know, you know, she's, um, you know, a, an adult and all that, but it, it, this is, this is where you need to get in there and, and, and fight for her and 
find these other options and um, look for these doctors who are specializing around the world in this. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I'm also sensing that it's similar, like similar to someone with autism, but she wasn't born with autism, but this virus that infected her is causing symptoms as you would find someone in, with autism. So I, I'm, if I get any more, I'll, I'll, I'll connect with you, Sharon, but that's what I'm, yeah. Maybe this is what you, you know, you this new retirement plan, you know, you're in this new phase and new retirement. Maybe this is uh, where the focus needs to go right now. But yeah, because you have the time and it's going to take time. Um, yeah. That's what I'm getting right now. Are you getting any more? No, I'm not. I just, I, I, I agree with the whole, it mirrors the line and yeah. I would just look at the diet too and healthy clean I mean you know diet is a really big thing too yeah they were all talking about that in the chat yeah it wasn't watching so yeah that's all I got Okay, so her sister's doing uh, uh, on autism. Interesting, yeah. Well, well, that you know that dropped in. Uh, so yeah, to go ahead and um, um, I, I mean, I feel like you're not. This isn't not. This is this is not only going to help your daughter, but I feel like whatever this is is also going to be something that will help others as well um, doing this research and pulling these all this all together. We are sending you light and love and your daughter healing. So blessings to you, Sharon. Lots of love, Sharon. <laughs> so who is next? Marie H. Marie H. Hi, Kimberly. You're welcome, Sharon. Hugging you right now. Oh. No problem, Sharon. Lots of love to you. Love you, Lola. Aspen snoring away. Oh, yeah. Pots is the same way. Also, another thing that gets uh, misdiagnosed is what I have because it gets diagnosed as pots and oh. other things because it's so wonky and weird. So, is Marie here still? I actually haven't seen her talk in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen her talk in a while either. Can we go to the next one? And if she comes in, we'll go back. Um, I'm not at home, Deb Z. I'm actually in Florida and just haven't slept good. You know, been here for two days. and uh, Melissa says she's here, but we're not seeing her question. She's talking. We don't even see her uh, talking. Lumine, Lumine said she did post. 
We've been staring at this and we didn't see her post come in. Oh yeah. She said, yes, I just posted. Wow. We didn't see it. We're staring yeah. at it. Oh, there it is. It is. Okay. Go up to 745. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Lamine. <laughs> there we go. My friend Debbie Christian died in July 2009. She didn't have a message from her. Uh, Marie, why are you pissed? Oh, I just posted. Posted. <laughs> okay. Okay. Debbie Christian. Debbie Christian. Okay, so she's showing me. Um, is she, she, she's just showing me on a bike. She's riding her bike. It has flowers all over it. Um, she's showing me she's just fine, right? And she's on her bike and she's just free, just <laughs> throwing flowers and riding her bike and um, just being free like that. And um, she's like, if she was going to, to give you a message, it would be just be free. Like, don't try to, um, don't try to, don't, don't try to be anything else but you and just i always call it like you know i always i always say i fly my i fly my freak flag i don't care you know like that i don't care i'm just gonna fly my freak flag and so i call it like that and it's kind of like what she's saying she's like just be free and she's throwing, throwing flowers and just being um just like love and light and like that um so that would be the I kind got, of I, I got just have fun. I mean, just see things as much as possible and have as much fun as you can. Yeah. 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 And she, laugh. Yeah. And she is, she's just like, she, and she, that's all she's doing is doing that laughing and just joy and being free. And she says, you know, while you're here, um, it's kind of like, just don't, don't waste a moment with, um, self degradation. Is that a word? Self degradation. Oh my gosh. Just be free. Enjoy, enjoy life. So that's the message she's bringing in. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll see if she'll pull one of these cards for you. All right, Melissa can connect. Melissa, she's, yeah, you can hear her laughing too. Well, we're going to have Melissa on someday too, as soon as she gets her a little space set up. Uh, she picked this card for you, Marie, and it's Surrender to Miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. I love this card. Beautiful. Blessings to you, Marie. So I, uh, next we have um, Lamine, best drive ever, yep.
Martha wants to know if you've gone sailing, Karen. You look suntanned. I'm actually in Florida right now. Um, I have not gone sailing. Are you guys going to try to do that while you're there? I don't think so. I, don't, I mean, it's kind of laid back. Oh. All right. You're just kind of kicking back? Yeah. Yeah, not really doing too much. We're checking out houses tomorrow. That's about it. And then next week, go see my cousin. I mean, you're in a great spot to do nothing. <laughs> I know. Just do nothing. I was told in another reading to take a different tact with my chronic severe pain but not what to do. So to do a different treatment, what should I do for treatment for her chronic pain? Hmm. Um, and you've done, I'm sure, Lamine, you've done all the, um, you've studied up on all the alternative um, directions, you know, with acupuncture and herbs and all that. And the herb. <laughs> Well, and I'm kind of curious. That's, that's the first thing that came to my head. So um, uh, Kathleen said CBD works good. Uh, but literally when I turned over to tap in, I, I heard the ganja. And I don't even use that word. Yeah. But um, I'm not, you know, I'm just, all that saying is. Uh, okay. She said she's done it all. Western medicine, acupuncture, massage, herbs. Yes. I, fi I figured. Um Okay. Have you tried hypnosis? Well, I don't think they were talking about CBD. I think they were talking about pot. For entertainment purposes only, we are not doctors. Yes. Okay. Do you, um, Lumine, do you go in and out? Like, do you, um, do you have times of where it, it's a little bit better and then do you go in and out and then all of a sudden it's really bad? I'm showing that with the cards anyway. Um, but I do feel like there's someone coming in that, that will be helping. 
Have you been doing research on the internet as well? Like with this chronic pain, have you been doing research to, to find relief? Yeah. Yeah. She says, yes, it goes up and down in severity. Okay. So that's showing that in my cards that it's going up and down. Uh, it's like, um, and would that be like in your bones? Um, bones, your, in your bones. Yes, a lot and a lot of research. Okay. Because I feel like um, we do have a possibility of some that you're going to find something. Okay. Uh, somebody's coming in to help you that has that expertise. And um, this coming in, the paths here. And it's talking about um, alternative that 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 brings on you know, alternative medicine. Bones, yes, and muscles, fibromyalgia. Um, her um, the list is closed, and I'm probably not going to be doing too. I mean, we we've been going for a while. I still haven't eaten dinner. Oh yeah, we we need to. I'm really hungry. We need to take one more. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, we'll do one more after this, Lamine. But and this one. <sighs> So I'm trying to piece together this puzzle for you, uh, Lumine. Um, but I feel like with this person coming in, because this is mirroring with this, this guy coming in with, with the paths card. And so I feel like this person that you will find, um, he's, he's, he may be more alternative. Uh, and, um, and something to do with um, your blood type or blood as well, coming in with that. Um, but I understand that this uh, is so um, intense, intense and debilitating, uh, in that it kind of it really uh, it makes you want to give up sometimes, and um, but don't because. I feel like there is there is some hope here. I'm seeing some hope cards in here that there will be something coming in that will be helping you. Um, but this man, he, he would be a health practitioner. He would be, um, is there a word? I'm going to look it up. Well, go ahead. I these words and I don't know what I'm thinking, saying, so I don't want to say it out loud. Hold on. Okay. No. Well, what you said. Oh, I just said it out loud. Well, I didn't hear you. But I think it talk, talked over you. Um, fibromyalgia is rough. Pain ongoing since Okay, so the word that dropped in was neuropathy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had to look it up. Yeah. But, um, I feel like um, to, to find someone that works with neuropathy that can, it will also help with this. So they, I'm literally, my guides gave me the word neuropathy. I had to look it up. Well, and, and also, you know, they do have pain management specialists. Have you ever tried that? I mean, because I went to see one, and that's what helps me with my pain. She says she has dysautonomia. Hmm. Set. Now we're going to look it up. Yep. To set. To. to set. Found it. <clears throat> it's it's spelled a little different than that. Um, it's dysfunction of the nerves that regulate 
non-voluntary body functions, such as heart rate, blood pressure, and sweating. Okay. Um, anyways, I feel like, it, yeah, it's a nervous system disorder, yes. Um, yeah, and that causes pain as well, for sure. And, and so I feel like um, that word that dropped in, what was it, neuropathy, is also attached. So um, I feel like if you go down that uh, path, uh, you're gonna, it's going to lead you to um, your guy. So find someone that works uh, specifically with neuropathy. So yes, entertainment purposes only. We are not diagnosing our doctors. <laughs> yeah, nope, not diagnosing. Entertainment not purposes only. I'm hearing. My opinions. Um, yeah, Lumine, I am so sorry for your pain though, because that is um, anyone who has had chronic pain has an understanding of it's an extremely challenging minute by minute, minute journey. And um, so we are all sending you light and love and healing prayers right now. And um, Um, I want to pull one of these cards for you before we go to the next. endings yeah it's it's the word it's horrible okay surrender your belief in scarcity is the card the message coming in uh the universe is asking you to open up infinite na infinite nature of oh i'm sorry asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life that have life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So I feel like um, possibility that it, it's almost like spirit is also asking you during this in this horrible years of challenge to also spiritually switch uh, some thinking and thoughts towards abundance um, and um, the abundance of healing and kind of see yourself in that healing place. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, Ed. Ed. So blessings to you, Lamine. Yeah. We'll keep sending that light out to you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Marcy's next, and this will be oh, our... I thought, I thought Marcy left. Okay. I think Marcy left a long time ago. So I'm pretty sure she left. Then Julie, Julie, Julie. Then Julie. All right. Um, you're welcome, Lumine. I mean. No, I didn't do anything. Debbie did it all. Um, sweet, guys. Yes, Monique, we need to send some healing light to her mama.
Absolutely. Absolutely. Right now, sending, sending. You know, there's something that I learned a long time ago. So let's pretend one knee hurts, but one does not. So instead of focusing on the hurt knee, you focus on the one that does not and send that wonderful feeling over to the other knee. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds mm -hmm. real strange, but that's something mm -hmm. that I learned a long time ago. So that's beautiful. There's Julie. No. Oops. There you go. So Julie, your mom, your, your mom comes in smiling, and um, she she's just kind of showing me a scene of, of being busy in the kitchen and and um, cooking. You know, love love cooking for her 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 family, and 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 I feel like it was a maybe is there an ex I don't know, but anyway, she loves cooking for her family, and. Um, but not too busy to, you know, she's wiping her hands off and coming in for the hug and everything, but just very loving and, um, and she seems to, um, to be that she's bringing in that type, that feeling of, uh, you know, the house, the, the glass half full type feeling, um, you know, like if, if there's challenges, you know, kind of always trying to, you know, to rise above it or whatever and, and half glass half full type of thing. Would this be her? Okay, I'm gonna keep connecting if someone wants to tell me. Um, did you have, uh, uh, Julie, did you have lots of uh, siblings or was there, well, it's funny you say siblings, but when she came in here, she had a lot of kids around her. You know, yeah, so yeah, I'm seeing kids. Those kids or grandkids or what that was. Yeah, I'm seeing kids and I'm seeing like she, lots of activity. She says that she usually sends her coins when they go on trips and they leave tomorrow. And she says, yeah, she's just a sweetie. Okay. And um, yeah, but I'm seeing her like lots of activity around her and she just thrived on that. And, and she just loved kids, <laughs> loved all the kids and uh, being around her. And um, and now she's, she's kind of, and she's coming in a little bit closer here. And it's like she, she wants, she's putting her arm around you, around, around like this and she's just coming in real close and that's she's bringing in a message here for you that she's like it it's it's okay to take time for yourself she says it's okay to take those moments to yourself it's okay to even take a day or we whatever take some time to do things just for you don't feel guilty about that don't feel bad about that it's um, give yourself permission to do things just for you. It's almost like she didn't do that for her. Like she, yeah. she, her whole life was all about giving to everybody else and she never stopped for a moment to do something kind of, you know, or she may have felt guilty to do that, but she's saying to you, don't, don't do that. Don't do, you do, you, you do something for you. It's okay. Three sisters. She gave up a baby. 
So lots of grandkids. And she said she always said that. Okay. So she, um, she's like, well, I'm saying it again. <laughs> Because I, I uh, she wants you to do, she's saying, I want you to do something for you. She says, thank you for remembering her on all her, and like special days. She's saying, mm -hmm. there's, there's special, she's like, thank you for, for remembering me on those days. She's showing me some kind of flowers that you brought in for her or something, or Lane. She really or, says, miss her so much. Yeah. Now, is that something you would do is actually put flowers on, a, on her grave or is that something she's showing me that's kind of metaphorical? Because she's showing me you actually putting flowers on a grave. She was her biggest fan, she said. Oh, yeah. She was my biggest fan. Oh, absolutely. Oh, gosh. She's such a... Um, her, ener her energy is beautiful. And very sincere. I feel like she was like that to... She was very... A beautiful friend to to everybody. I I, I feel like a lot of people miss her. Mm -hmm. And she keeps walking around kids over here. Okay, so she's talking about. Um, so Julie, she's talking. She's she showed me you actually putting flowers on a gravestone. So um, I and um, she's saying we don't have one for her yet. So maybe that's just what she's bringing up. She has her hands on her your shoulders, and so that that's a symbol of her saying that she she's there in support of you whenever you need her. Just talk to her, ask her, um, and she's um, she will. She's always there. So just please talk. She wants you to talk to her. Still bring her in. Bring her in on the things. She wants to be in on it. So um, uh, thank you for allowing me to. Uh, um, do you have more? No. I mean, she just shows me that she's around the kids. I mean, literally, yeah. she just keeps going and walking around all these kids that are standing right here. It's like I, even in spirit, she's over here taking care of kids. Yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. Oh, I, I, she is all around them, right? She's just, I'm going to ask her to pull one of these cards for you, Julie. I feel like this is part of the message she was bringing in for you at the beginning. Surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet, meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too, and your life will flow <clears throat> more easily. Beautiful card from your mom. Yeah. All right. Oh, Melissa has something there that she got to to make sure you, she she did what she perfect. I love it. Yep. Yeah, and maybe that's why she keeps walking around these kids all the time. I mean, just <laughs> just like a she just trails through them. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Thank you, Melissa. All right. Um, 
So, so lots of love to you guys. Remember, please take care of yourselves. Um, understand that it's hard and trying times for energy wise right now and just do the best that you could do and just make it a point to take care of yourselves. So reach out when you can. And if you can't, that's great. Just much love to you guys. But uh, we will see you guys, I guess, Friday. Yep. Friday. And um, it's, I think it's your channel this week. Yeah. Friday on my channel. So lots of love guys. We'll talk to you later. Blessings. Love you all. Thanks for hanging out.